NPR just interviewed uh, Osana Markarova, the uh, ambassador of Ukraine in the United States of America. But uh, of course, uh, the uh, name uh, United States of America did not appear in the uh, noise box. The noise box continue to destroy the identity of the United States of America, teaching foreigners, ambassadors of foreign nations in the United States of America, that we are Americans. And it's out of the table, the uh, American people is going to fight in Ukraine. That was one of the most weird interviews of an ambassador that I ever, ever witnessed in a, any noise box. Uh, all started before the, uh, before the interview, uh, they set you up, you know, they said the, uh, the move. And how they said the move is with the uh, barrier of Bob Dole, Bob Dole. So they, uh, they talk about Bob Dole and you know how good he was and for the American, for the American. And uh, the Bob Dole was an American. And the uh, daughter of Bob Dole visit uh, uh, the, uh, the American, American veterans, American veterans, and everybody's American. And they continue to repeat American like 17 times in a minute. So that is how they set up the, uh, the interview. So now Bob Dole, a man they uh, spent, what, uh, 30, 20, 30 years in, in the, uh, in, in the uh, government of the United States of America, and fought in World War II for the United States of America, and got shot in the arm and lose you know, movement on that arm for the United States of America. Now, he is conditioned to be American. His family is conditioned to be American. Everybody's American. The, 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 uh, the foreign um, uh, ambassador is American. And guess what? You are American too now because you will defend it. So you no longer are a United States of American national. Now you're an American, American. When, when you accept that, and when these people telling you that you are an American, uh, guess what? Your identity is compromised completely because you are no longer part of a single group. And the United States of America must be indivisible, must be indivisible. The United States of America is our country and it must be protected. Protecting America will not do. We need to protect the United States of America. America is a continent. So, going with the interview and the conditioning, what is the interview about, really about, is to tell the Russians, hey, listen, we, we are not going to fight you. Hey, it's okay, everything is okay, as long as we can sell weapons. Uh, it's, all, it's, a, it's all about a, a, a mirage to sell weapons. Uh, they've been selling the helicopters to the uh, to the Australian, the submarine to the Australian. Uh, everybody is uh, dividing themselves, and it's all about the money. That's all it is. Uh, this is what the uh, uh, ambassador said. Uh, the ambassador said very eloquent. We do not want the American people, the American people. Not the United States of America, no, the American people to fight for us. But we do need the weapons. Sell speech. The United States of America, Mr. Biden, say the American people will not fight in Europe. That is a sell speech. Let's give the Ukrainians the means to fight. And one, the most important question is. Uh, the American lady on uh, BBC, NPR, uh, they uh, speak with the funky boys, uh, but can read very well, ask this question. Do you, do you expect to, uh, to uh, beat victorious over an attack of Russia? 
I love it. That was the most stupid question of all. Of course they don't expect to win. Hell, we will lose the United States of America. Highly likely we'll lose a fight with the Russians because nobody has won against the Russians. No Napoleon, no, I mean, no one, no one, no World War I, no World War II, no, I mean, listen, do not mess with the Russians. Uh, and that is what I want actually to say. So the question was a very, uh, so stupid to me, you know, I mean, do you think you want to, do you think you can win against the Russians when they attack the Crimea? Hell no, you know, that you. I don't care how many weapons they're giving you. The United States of America out of my pocketbook because they're going to take it out of my pocket because I am a taxpayer in the United States of America and you are too. It's all about making money. They know if the Russians decided to take over half of Europe, they can. Probably they can take all over Europe. So let's see what was ha- what is going to happen. But uh, what we got on the uh, on the television, uh, radio, uh, newspapers, and else is just that. It's just noise boxes, noise boxes, trying to sell you some crap to make somebody some money, some politician some money. So they create the uh, the uh, the drama, and they utilize the drama to scare the hell out of you and to separate you apart from you dollars. Make sure, like uh, uh, Dole say, uh, uh, the daughter of uh, Bob Dole uh, said, hey, go and visit, go and visit the monuments to all soldiers of the United States of America. Go and do that. But when you go and visit them, visit their grave in Europe, to visit their grave all over the world, make sure that you understand that they died defending the United States of America. They did not die defending a continent. And the people of the continent need to start fighting back. The United States of America is not your continent. Defend your name, defend your identity. All of you are Americans. The Haitians are Americans. The Cubans are Americans. Colombians. Everyone is American. It is called the American continent. And uh, if you think that I'm erroneous, you can prove me erroneous. And I'm going to show you the data that I am correct. And uh, the most significant data that I have is in the... uh, in the Maritime Museum of uh, Madrid, Spain, where they have the oldest map of the American continent. <laughs> uh, yes, your grandfather made that map. My grandfather made that map. Saludos. Merry Christmas. <laughs>